Hello, Lunami here. So today I want to go over some of the basics of why I don't really summon obelisks or drakes or even talk about them in my summoning videos. I go over drakes first. So drakes can be kind of mitigated because they are distant based. So that means you can stand at certain distances and they'll only do certain attacks. So this drake will only fire fireballs at me, so I am this close to it now, which makes it kind of open. And if you get a bit closer, it does do these other attacks, which is a ground spit attack and a ground fire. That can be just dodged. You can dodge out of that. Just come out of that circle. This, you can just run around in laps. That is just a cone that follows you. That can be dodged as well by just running around it in laps. You can also um, cleanse off most of this. Much like if I walk into it and then just walk through and just walk through it like so, like nothing. And that's why drakes are pretty bad because you can just dodge everything and they what they dish out. The main downfall with a drake is they don't move. Like the bloomer, they can easily be taken out. So that means they're open to really basically range. And then if you've got like someone like Ashling with a range combo. You can kind of like just dodge everything they chuck at you. And Ashling has pretty much no cooldown on a jump with a basic attack, so you can just keep on jumping around them. Like an idiot. And because their hitbox is always center. And that's how easy a Drake is for Ashlyn to kill. You can just take him out in a few seconds, under 20 seconds. Now it's time for a um, Beckett. So with Beckett, I'm just going to pretty much go into my basic. And then go into armor crack, deal damage. I'm not really going to use my cannon for this. I'll just use my um, machine pistols to take it out. And all you need to do is just do laps on it again. With slight few jumps, you can get a bit closer if you want. Remember the fireballs move a bit faster then. You can kind of bait it in and out of its attacks. So you get closer and then just walk back. And it can't hit you. And you just keep on doing that. Just keep on walking it in and out. And you'll just kill it. Now jumping right along to the obelisks. So obelisks are a funny one. They're, they're kind of ideal, but kind of not. They do give XP, so they are worth summoning for the XP. That's probably about it. And to just slightly annoy the enemy. But they they just take a, like more or less a creature spot. And you can kill them like, stupidly fast. You can kill them under about 5 seconds. And that's even for like the adult one. The adult one can drop in under 5 seconds. Also, do not summon obelisks on your home points because that's just hindering your progress to collect orbs. Because they don't automatically pick up orbs, they can test points to stop orbs being picked up. Um, if I summon a creature on this point, say I summon a Cerberus, the Cerberus will pick up the orb. See? It picks up the orb manually, automatically, and you'll collect the power. But if you summon like one of these, see there's a orb on D point and there's uh, the the, the um, obelisk on D point. It's not automatically picking up the orb, so that means you would have to go around manually and pick up the orb, which just makes a really big hindrance for your team because the enemy team can just come in r guns raging because they know you can't automatically pick up the orb, so they'll just delay the orb for you. 